Yeah. How you doing? How's it going? Oh, no. 
I'm saying you aren't doing this for snacks alone. I can't help you if you're not honest with me. I'm just so sick of feeling like an empty shell. I want to stop relying on everybody else. I want to keep up with Liz for once in my life. Respect. I know things are tough with Liz right now. But dog, she loves you. You two will be back to normal in no time. But I don't want to go back to normal. I don't want her worrying about me anymore. <laughs> when you love somebody, you never stop worrying about them. I know. And I'm worried about her, too. I just want to take better care of her. And that starts with me. Yeah, I get that. I will get you there. Thanks, Chambo. hit the showers after all. I smell rotten. Hey, Tiffany. What's going on? Nice to see ya. Hey, Wiggle. Aloha. Aloha.
Tiffany, hello. Nice to see ya. Wambus, you heartless monster! Stop burying the little ones! You mind your own business. Besides, I thought you wanted more bug snacks. You know that's not what I meant, and that's not gonna work anyhow. That's so. Well, you go and let me know when your pets are expecting. I will! <laughs> <My bits. laughs> Evening. You know, I've been calling you stranger, but you've been around a while. Need a new name. Sorry, I'm not creative, stranger. I'm good for now, thanks. That's not for me. No, you go and feed that to Felbo. Then, hold up by the outhouse for a spell. When his business is done, gather up the fertilizer. You know, uh, night soil, waste, spud cruds. Come on, don't make me get crude now. That's not for me. No, you... Hello! Sometimes I wake, I try calling out. Bye now. Spuddy. Mm. <laughs> Aw, thanks for the gift, buddy. Though, suddenly, I'm feeling nature call. Sorry, gotta go. Every time I go home, all my stuff is moved around, and there are new... I'm starting to... Goodbye! Hey, how's the journey? Whoo wee! That stink could raise the dead. Whew! That's bound to be potent enough for my soil. Thanks, stranger. I'm good for. Adios, amigo. That's enough, Chandlo. You're going to make your biceps explode. I'm not stopping, dog. I almost got it. You know, I could just make a digging device. Uh, that's not the point, bro. I can do this. If you insist, I'll go ready some ice packs. All the unknowns in this world, one plagues me more than any other. How does Chandlo truly feel about me? Does he want us to be something more? Farewell! Yeah. Oh, oh, oh no. Vilgo oh. did a pretty good oh, job oh. keeping this place in good shape. Gotta give the little guy props. He could use a boost to his self-esteem. Yeah, dog. I'm trying to pull up this stump so I can build a bebaw cord. I'm about as swole as a grumpus can get, and I can't move this thing at all. I gotta be stronger than a grumpus. I gotta push my limits, you feel me? 
Uh, I need your help to bulk up. If you go find the biggest, buffest bug snacks around, and I eat them, maybe I'll gain their strength. tonight, huh?
Snack so delicious that Triffany would die for it, and we'll trade. Mm. What's up, dog? If you go find the biggest, buffest bug snacks around, and I eat them... Bunger. Yeah! Bunger. Snack, darling. Sheep. Mm. Here it comes, the ballad of a generation.
Well, that's all I have so far. It's a work in progress, but what do you think? Don't patronize me, darling. The truth is written all over your face. I don't know why I bother. I know I don't have any real talent. My whole career was an accident. <sighs> Sorry, darling. I need to be alone for a while. Oh, hold on, darling. Tell me what you think of this. Ciao, darling. How you doing? Come on and do the wiggle with me. Do the wiggle, do the wiggle with me. I do the wiggle, do the wiggle, do the wiggle with me. Yeah! Man, eh? is somebody there? You didn't hear anything, pal. You got that? Not a single peep! Friend, I haven't got a bad word to say about anybody here. Bunch of snacks sucking in grits. Have a nice day. He's always so jealous of Wiggle. Why would he even hide that? It almost makes him kind of likable.
I know you've been spying on me, Pepper. You keep out of my business, or I'll... Or you'll what? You're the one keeping secrets. You can't touch this. You think I'm the only one who's sick of your gossip girl stick, huh? Sooner or later, you're gonna be back in your cave all by yourself. Whatever. At least then, I wouldn't have to hear your slimy voice. It's fine. Cromdo didn't say anything I don't already know. It's been a rough day. Why don't we uh, unwind with some snack pods? <laughs> Bunger. No. Oh, yeah. You may not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. Or, you know, almost. There's no gaining without training, dog. I got a new exercise in mind. If you're ready to spot me, I set up these hanging weights all around town. I'm gonna jog around. You use your grappler to knock them down on top of me. Maybe for you and Snorpy, but this is what I gotta do to challenge myself. Now get me to five weights. Let's do this, bro. <laughs> baby. I feel 
swole, dog! Now let's see what you got, Stump. Oh, Grump. I think my bicep exploded. But that's okay. I just gotta rest up and keep training. With this bug snack body, I'll get there. Cause if I don't, who's gonna have Snorpy's back? Bilbo did a pretty good job. Later, bro.
A rough day. Why don't we uh, unwind with some snack pods?
How's it going? How's it hanging? Hey, hey.
Hey, buddy. How's it going? Cromdo, how are you today? Hey, mind your own beeswax, huh? Nice night out.
Here's to a hard day's work. Always rely on bug snacks. <laughs> Isn't it so sad that I call you my bestie? <laughs> I like barely know you. And if I did get to know you, you'd probably hate me for it. <laughs> ah, oh well. Enjoy it while it lasts, Biffy. so touchy because
later. Doing a great job, buddy. But hey, don't forget to take care of yourself. In fact, maybe you should turn in early today and just relax. <laughs> Something's wrong, buddy. We better take a look. Saw something real spooky walk right into town. I thought it was a grumpus at first, but like something about it was wrong. Was this creature wearing a crown by any chance? Or was it perhaps holding some sort of ceremonial dagger? What? No, no nothing like that. It looked kind of normal until it. <laughs> until it. It turned into a bunch of bug snacks and like scattered. Frankly, I find that hard to swallow. Ah, uh, what a load, Biff. Not enough drama around town for you lately, huh? Zonk off, Cromdo. Unlike you, I don't lie for a living. Oh, wow. So tell me then, what were you doing skulking around at midnight? Breaking into huts? Again? I seen it too. And this time I know it's not just one of my nightmares. Get some grump and sleep, Gramble. I can't. Not with all of y'all around here with your hungry mouths. Don't take this the wrong way, darling, but you are a bit high strung. A little beauty sleep would do you wonders. Maybe then you'd finally let us eat a few pets. You say that again. Oh, get off me. Stop. Whoa, hey, chill the grump out, bros. There's no need for all that. If what Gramble and Befica are saying is true, there's got to be some physical evidence left behind, yeah? Indeed. We should sweep the perimeter and keep watch in case the creature returns. Um, uh, good idea. Uh, buddy, do you think you can scope out the restroom? You know, find out what they saw? Heart's pounding like crazy. You believe me, don't you, Bestie? I believe our time here is running out, darling. I better find my inspiration soon. I just hope my poor dear Gramble and his bug snacks are all right. I'm so tired, but so, so scared. I just wish I could rest easy for once. This whole mess is a waste of time. I bet Gramble just had a bad dream and he spooked Befica while he was at it. Teh, hoaxes are a dime a dozen, pal. And even if they aren't faking it, those two ain't exactly the most uh, reliable witnesses if you catch my drift. Hey. Uh, buddy, sorry. I can't stand it when everybody fights. I hope this is over soon. Might want to get out of town for a hot minute or two. Let things cool down. Judging by history, if this keeps up, we're due for a fist fight. Bummer, bro. I thought Snacksburg would be better this time. I'm not back five minutes and we're in a crisis. Grump and Naughty sabotage in action. Has Floofty been around? My sibling has long been prone to such sinister deeds and sneakery. 
Found what you were looking for? All right, I'll call everybody together. Well, what did you find? I reckon there's got to be some other explanation. Cram it, Wampo. We got a genuine monster on our paws. Hmm. Monster's a bit of a prejudicial term, don't you think? I'd call it more of a cryptid or undiscovered animal. It's no animal, darling. We're witnessing the queen of bug snacks in action. She's given us a warning! Oh, that is absurd. Which is more likely, that a so far unseen giant bug snack politely left a note on our door? Or that this is some form of coordinated gaslighting by the Grumpenar- What's more likely, dear, is that you've watched far too many movies. Well, at least my theory has scientific data behind it, whereas you haven't even drawn one chart. <gasps> I was top of the charts, thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know what? Let's split the difference, eh? You're both wrong. Uh, what does it even matter? Whatever it is, it wants us dead. Between this and the earthquakes, Snacksburg's becoming pretty unlivable. I hate to say it, bro, but I regret coming down from the mountain. Me and Snorpy were a lot safer before we came back. Same goes for me and my little ones. No, no, no. We shouldn't split up again. We're better off if we're all here together. That might have been true when Lisbert was around, but those days are long gone. You don't know that. She might come back. Yeah, don't hold your breath, pal. Face it, Philbo. Without Lizbert, all we have is you! That's... that's... not true. Listen, I don't know why Lizbert put me in charge, but I do know this. None of you were really happy out there alone. We don't have Lizbert, but we have each other. Maybe if we try, we could all add up to one of her. <sighs> I guess you're not wrong. So, we're all staying in town then? Seems like it, as long as we can watch each other's backs. If we're gonna make it, we need everybody here. Floofty and Sheldar are still out there, and, and, and who knows if they're safe. If you must find Floofty, according to the tracking device I placed on them, they're out by Boiling Bay. And the last time I saw Sheldar, she was meditating in the sizzling sands. But don't forget about Egabel. If she's not with Lisbert, we gotta find her. We will, Chandlow. And once we do, we'll throw a big welcome back party. How does that sound? Oh, yeah.
Sure. Okay. Great. Now let's go get some sleep. Don't worry, buddy. Soon everybody will be back in town and all our troubles will be over. And then I'll be able to throw a real welcome back party. Find the other Grumpuses, find out what they know, and convince them to come back to town. Till next time. Hey there. You ever notice how the real big bug snacks break up into little ones? I've been wondering why that is. Do the little ones stick together to make big ones? Oh, can, can I teach them to do that? Oh, so long. Oh, boy. Shelda is delightful, darling. The way she speaks is captivating. Even if I haven't the faintest idea what she's saying. Toodles! Bro, I'm not getting any stronger. I wasn't pushing hard enough. Maybe it's the bug snacks. We went way too small, you feel me? I've been hearing rumors about this monster snack out in the forest. Wamba said it was so huge, no Grumpus alive could lift it. Sounds like the ultimate workout. Let's catch it, bro! Aw, uh, yeah! Meet me in Flavor Falls! <laughs> this way, dog! Just thinking about that buff snack is getting me pumped! It's okay if I can't lift the crystal. I feel that. I love him for it. He just doesn't get it. I'm doing this for him. The world will crush him for that. Gotta be strong enough to keep him safe from all that. I wasn't kidding, that snack is huge! All right, you big bug! Here comes the Chandlo Slail! <laughs> 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 Melvin. 
strong, dog. And once I eat it, I'll be just as strong. Befica's smart, bro. Smarter than she lets on. She gets people, and that throws them off their game. I kinda like that about her. hoping I'd get twice as big or something. No, I'm just the same Chandlo. And Chandlo isn't good enough. I spent my whole life climbing a mountain. But once I got to the peak, all I saw was a taller mountain. Bro, even if I could rip out that stump, I couldn't stop an earthquake. There's always going to be something bigger than me. Stronger than me. Snorpy's always going to be in danger. saying, uh, maybe. Uh, your whole premise is flawed from the get-go. If bug snacks aren't like plants, then no amount of elbow grease is gonna make this work. Triffy, I thought you were here to support me. Oh, I am. It, it's just, um, you keep trying this over and over, and one of these days you gotta pack it in. <sighs> so I'm on my own. Well, if that's how you choose to look at it, What does it look like? I'm sorry. 
I'm just about at the end of my rope. I'm done taking it slow. Just give me every sort of bug snack that digs underground. I reckon it might aerate the soil or something. Oh, I must look mighty foolish sticking to my guns like this. But you don't give up just because things get tough. If nobody else believes in me, I gotta believe in myself. It's that or... or nothing. <laughs> just give me every sort of bug. You know, I've never seen any sort of cryptid mentioned in the ancient Grumps' writing. Means we're dealing with something new. Isn't that kind of exciting? Bye bye now! Hi! That monster Grumpus thing is still on the loose. Be careful out there, bestie. Hey, Bestie! Now that Snorpy and Chandlo are back, it's totes snooping time! I never got any dirt on Chandlo. He's gotta have some deep, dark secret, but whatever it is, he's too good at hiding it. If anybody can find their way through that buff facade, it's you, Bestie. <laughs> Listen up, pal. I got a nose for phonies. Befica? <laughs> Wiggle? Eh, fat. And don't even get me started on Shelda. She makes me look like an honest grumpus. Yeah, take care. Where's the stump, Snorpy? I removed it with my digging device. It took five minutes. Oh! Thanks. Anytime, Chandlo. What's going on, dog? Huh? 
the great thing about being Chandlo? What you see is what you get. I got nothing to hide. No shame. You checking out this beef, bro? I don't blame you. Yeah. Nobody is free of dirt. The more innocent somebody looks, the nastier the secret. Trust me. I have an idea. We're going to go through Snorpy. Nobody knows Chandlo like Snorpy. I need you to turn me into green bug snacks. I'll tell you why later.
zero, 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 Having trouble with your pets there? Shut it, Wambus. My little ones are just excited to see me. That's so. Bet it's easy to keep them in line when they're half your size. What are you saying? You really love bug snacks so bad? Go big or go home. You... Oh, go on back to your cactus, you old coot! You ever notice how the real big bug snacks to the little ones? I hate to say it, but Wambus has a point. Bigger snacks means more to love. And they might be a bit smarter. Might respond better to my training, too. Please get me the biggest, snackiest bug snacks you can find. Please? <laughs> the plan. Snorpy basically can't see without his glasses, and I know he cleans them every day at five. So we'll approach him then, and if I'm green and I say bro a lot, he'll think I'm Chandlo. And obviously Snorpy isn't going to keep Chandlo's secrets from himself. Not silly if it works. 
Snorpy isn't gonna know what hit him. Let's hang out until it's time. <clears throat> hey, Snorp Dog. Can I, like, ask you something? Chandlo, is that you? I can't see. Let me get my glasses. Oh, uh, there's no time, bro. This is important. Oh, uh, well, all right then. What is it? Bro, you remember that deep, dark secret we were talking about? You know, the really super secret one? Oh, ah, uh, that. Yes, I suppose it is time we talked about it. Chandlo, it's hard for me to know what you're thinking, and I've been afraid of talking about it for so long, but the truth is, Chandlo, I, I love you with every fiber of my heart. <laughs> That's not a secret to anybody. Befika, what did you get here? How dare you intrude on our private moment? Uh, bro, she just ran off, dog. Like, I'm gonna go chase her, bro. Hello? Chandlo? Anybody? Ah, chum! Good to see you on this ordinary tyranny-free day. Let us talk pleasantly of the weathers. I've discovered something terrible. My seismic readings show that activity in the mountain is growing stronger and more frequent over time. We must find the source of the quakes before the situation grows out of control. There is an unusually large bug snack on the mountain that I'm certain is involved. The formidable Scoopy Banoopy. Disassemble it and dispose of the components in my mouth, and once more we will have thwarted the Grumpanati. <laughs> bug snacks look like living creatures, but they act more like tiny little machines. Tiny little delicious machines built explicitly to appeal to a mass audience. Ta-ta! Nice night out. Chandlo buried his dirt so deep, not even Snorpy knows about it. I've spent my whole career looking into the good ones and finding out who they really are. And like, I'm always the one who suffers for telling the truth. Every friend I ever had dropped me as soon as I told them something they didn't want to hear. And it's no different here. The only upside to being stuck on this island? At least I have bug snacks to keep me company. I don't know. I like you because we're similar. I'm a Leo like that. Can I really trust you? There's plenty of time to find out, but... 
I'd probably be a lot happier if I didn't know. Stop, 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 stop,
cockroach, duck, 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 cockroach. Duck, 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 duck.
What's going on, Wiggle? Hello, darling. me every sort of bug snack that digs underground. I reckon it might aerate the soil or something. What's going on, Wiggle? Hey there.
me, me, me! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Dos.
You took your precious time getting here. Any longer and my leg might have rotted away. Come, let's finish our work. My experiment cost an arm and a leg, and nobody else was offering. <laughs> I have a hypothesis that the substance leaking out of the volcano is not lava, but rather a superheated fondue. Unfortunately, my studies had to be put on hold when my sampling equipment melted. Absolutely not! I'm on the verge of a breakthrough! Now assist me or be gone with you! Ah, always a question worth asking. Preparations for my grand experiment are nearly complete. Soon we will see if we can amend my ambulation. But for now, simply transform my arm into a red banapa. <laughs> banapa! Intriguing. Excellent. That is one more thing I must do. Hand me the Snacktivator. The old Snacktivator was worthless scrap. I have updated it. It is now capable of altering snack matter through a process of sonic anamnesis. Ugh. My body remembers what I eat. The Snacktivator can change snackified limbs into anything I've ever eaten. Use it. Change my arm from Bonabra to Strabi. <laughs> Are you amazed? You've seen nothing yet. If my hypothesis is correct, the bug snacks can remember the shape of my body. It is time to test that hypothesis. Use the snacktivator on my missing leg. <laughs> My leg is back. Bug snacks can cure the sick, revitalize the frail. This discovery will reshape the world. To think Elizabeth and Agabel walked away from that. <laughs> Pathetic. <clears throat> but I refuse to dwell on personal matters while there is yet more work to do. Use the Snacktivator again. Transform my limbs into Cocomites. <laughs> I have a hypothesis that the substance unfortunately Use the Snacktivator again. Transform my limbs into Cocomites. Oh, 
Paletas. Paletas. Mouth.
Nyam, nyam, nyam. Yum, yum, yum. Intriguing. Hmm. My body has changed into more cogamites than I've eaten. Can you even comprehend what has happened? This means that all bug snacks are one and the same. Each one could change into any other with the right stimulus. And now that is true of me. Now, use the snack activator to its full potential. I want limbs of noodler, cocomite, banana, and strabi all at once. <laughs> Try not to do anything too stupid.
food. <clears throat> Unbelievable. I have learned much. Despite your general ignorance, you have been of use to me. Good job. No matter how many bug snacks I become, my body feels no different. Is there a threshold of crumpusness? When every cell of my body is bug snacks, will I remain floofy fizzle bean? Or will I simply be bug snacks right down to the taste? I must find out. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. The answers won't come to me without further testing. However, I have exhausted my research here. I will experiment on Snacksburg. <laughs> I look forward to working with you further. Shelda is del- One last chance, darling. There's a massive bug snack out in the ocean. I've seen it riding the waves in the morning light. To be honest, I'm not even sure if it's real. But I must go after it. Please help me. I can't catch it alone. Want something? Get me a bunk snack so delicious that Triffany would die. Floofy. Snoppington. So you've slithered back into town. Up to another grumpy naughty scheme. I'm not participating in your delusions, brother. You waste your talented mind playing spy games when you could be assisting my research. I'm never assisting you again. Not until you find your moral compass and stop working for the man. Oh, please. Don't try to dress up your cowardice. I'm no coward. I... You still haven't told the green meathead how you feel. But whether that's different, don't try to confuse the issue. I thought so. Leave me to my business and I'll leave you to yours. Rest assured, chum. I have my eye on Floofty. Be well. 
What are you looking at? Hey, buddy. Don't worry, buddy. Soon, everybody... Till next time. Chandlo, how's it going? What's up, dog? Well met. Mm. If you see Trifony, ask her what the Osteoblast said to the Osteocyte. It's hilarious. I am not here to spew gossip for that obnoxious rag you call a newspaper. Very well. If you insist, I will educate you. I am Flufty Fizzlebean, the world's first gastroentomologist. In baby language, I study bug snacks and their effect on grumpuses. To study bug snacks, obviously. When Elizabeth Megafig was recruiting for her cult of personality, I observed something strange about her arm. She was keeping it hidden, but she displayed early stages of snackification. That piqued my interest. You are asking for opinions instead of facts. I'm not going to discuss my feelings with you, you emotional parasite. Every time I try to publish my groundbreaking research, you journalists instead churn out slander about my dangerous methods or my questionable behavior. Stop editorializing and focus on the science. I simply wanted to continue my work, Egabel or no, but Shelda blamed me for the disappearances. I'm no stranger to witch hunts. I vacated before the pitchforks could come out. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I've only eaten one grumpus. Would you prefer I keep my severed leg in the outhouse? The truth. <laughs> Elizabeth was an arrogant coward, unlike Egabel. Egabel truly understood my research. She was hungry to participate in it. Our work together was fruitful, even pleasant, until somebody interfered. Shelda, that mummified fraud stoked Elizabeth's fear of my work, weaponizing her relationship to Egabel, scrambling her fragile emotions, and fabricating a binary choice between myself and Elizabeth. Ultimately, Egabel chose sentiment over science, and I surmise that was the death of her. Yes, I have the password to Agabel's personal storage box. It may be of interest to you. You've wasted enough of my time now. Leave.
wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Hi. Hello, darling. Till next time. Going. Hi, Wambus. <laughs> Is all going well?
to you later. Ah, you're here. I have need of your assistance again. Since my last discovery, I've been testing the limits of bug snack regeneration. Unfortunately, I've done all I can with this one leg. I want to try something rather more advanced. Put simply, I'm going to remove my head. Pardon me, I forgot your limitations. Remove as in cut off, head as in the thinky part. And I am reasonably certain that bug snacks will regrow it in its entirety. Indeed. Perhaps I could do something more measured if I had a full team funding and a great deal more subjects. But as usual, nobody's volunteering. Oh, ready well. You're welcome to try. <laughs> Floofy's fun to gab with, but their methods are pretty extreme, don't you think? Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> Why? Is Floofy looking for someone to snack on? LOL, JK, but seriously, no. That monster Grumpus thing is still on the loose. Be careful out there, bestie. Later. Buddy, um, <laughs> I don't think I'd be any help in that department. Floofy said I was about as useful as a beaker without a bottom. How's it hanging? After what they put Eggabel through? No way, bro. Befica's smart, bro. Later, bro. Thanks. That floofy shows up in my nightmares, always watching me. No. Island's looking mighty dangerous lately. I'm starting to think I should build a taller fence. We'll see you later. How you doing? Darling, they once called me a vociferous profligate. I'm terribly insulted, though I have no idea what that even means. <sighs> Crumdo, how are you? How's it going? Yes, yes, hello. Mm. Absolutely not. Whatever scheme my sibling put you up to, it certainly won't end well. Nice to see ya. Salutations. As expected. My name alone is enough to frighten them off. Hardly. It's not me they're truly afraid of. They give in to cowardice and ignorance because they cannot fathom the tremendous good that my research can do. Since I have failed time and again to change their minds, the burden rests on me to complete the work. Perhaps then they will understand its value. As for you, 
I require enough bug snacks to fully transform my body. Only the sweetest and most filling will be acceptable. Consider it a personal request. This could be my last meal after all. <laughs> Yum, yum, yum. Unbelievable. <clears throat> Intriguing. Paleta. Yum, yum, yum. Unbelievable. Popsicle. <clears throat> oh, neat.
what? Sand up. Intriguing. Very good. You're actually being useful. I have a few more preparations to make. The experiment will begin in 24 hours. I borrowed one of my brother's patent and Grumpinati traps and made some modifications. Once the device is activated, snacks will flow into my open mouth, thus triggering my regeneration. I don't. That's what the experiment is for. I need you to load the funnel at the back, and then we can begin. <laughs> All right. Listen up, pal. You put a stop to this nonsense right now! Snorbington, here to sabotage my career again? Sabotage? I'm trying to save your life! Nonsense. If my hypothesis is correct, I will be perfectly fine and I will have advanced medical knowledge by a century. And if you're wrong, you'll be headless. Even after everything you've done, I still care about you, Floofty. Don't try to infect me with your cowardice! What you should care about is my work. That is what is truly important. You are important. Despite your rampaging ego, the world will go on with or without your experiments. I would think you at least would understand. Instead, you insist on being a selfish, spineless, slack-jawed baby. See, this is why nobody wants to help you. It's pitiful, isn't it? <sighs> I can rearrange fibrous tissue with electrostatic waves, but I cannot convince my own brother to help me. My work should stand for itself. I shouldn't need to put so much effort into explaining myself. But it does take effort. With the others, it is simple. I can write them off as ignorant, frightened children. <sighs> but not Snoopy. I know he's not a coward or a fool, which means that the error is mine. I cannot make myself understood, so I lose patience, and I give up on understanding, and perhaps that is cowardice on my part. Well met. Mm. If you see Trifony, ask her what the osteoblast. Good riddance.
One last chance. There's a massive bug snack out in the ocean. To be honest, I'm not even sure if it's real. Please help me. I can't catch it alone. Fabulous. Let's jam. <laughs> My critic's all right, you know. I can't make the magic happen again. I've tried skydiving, crystal gorging, reverse exorcisms, everything. Bug snacks are the only thing that have ever gotten me close to that state again. To that raw nirvana where the universe writes through me. I just haven't found it yet. But I will. I must. It's that or I'm finished. empty venue. If you're out there, you won't be able to resist my siren song. Give me that. Music is a universal language, darling. Come to me, come to me, my muse of the sea. My mouth is your destination, and when I here's your destiny. A sound of destiny, yeah, yeah, get in my belly. Oh, yeah. There you are, you delectable dragon. Come on, let's make some music. Oh! <laughs> 
Maki. Mini Maki. Mega Maki. <sighs> Talk about bombing on stage. Still, not my most explosive performance. Come, darling. Let's get this show on the road. Shelda is d What are you waiting for? Feed me that magnificent Maki. Mega... <laughs> is just full of snacks. Oh, I'm never gonna be free of it. Do the wiggle. It's such a vapid waste of a song. To think that will be my legacy. Oh, why can't I make it happen one more time? Why can't the universe give me one more hit?
Great, 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 great
Grape Skeeto. Did you do it? Did you write your magnum opus? <sighs> Sorry, dear. It's never going to happen. Well, don't be so down, Wiggle. Maybe you're overthinking it. Why don't you just write from the heart? From the heart? Oh, Gramble, you sweet summer child. That's what I did before I was a star. I'll never make platinum that way. Why's that matter? You're already rich and famous. Because I need an audience. And I've seen time and time again that when I write for myself, nobody else wants to hear it. Well, I want to hear it. That's a nice sentiment, darling. Buddy. Salutations. Mm, if you see Trifony, good riddance.
Evening. Doing good? You know, I've never seen any s means we're dealing. Yep. According to the journal, this time we're heading for the boiling bay. All righty, see you there. Lovely place, isn't it? And check out that real interesting shipwreck. If you don't mind, keep your eyes peeled for a treasure chest and a freezing cold bully of a bug snack. settles it. This ship belonged to Grumpbeard. He disappeared at sea a hundred years ago. But I guess he wound up on Snack Tooth Island. Hard to tell what happened to him after that. His bones could be just about anywhere. It really is the saddest thing, isn't it? 
when nobody knows how your story ends. Isn't that nifty? Delicious! You know, Floofty's got a theory that the bigger a bug snack is, the older it must be. No telling yet how old, but imagine that snack was around in Grumpbeard's time. It could have even chased him off the beach. Fun to think about, eh? I can't find anything. She's not here either. I didn't mean to keep it from you, but that journal, it, um, it belonged to my... <laughs> See, some years ago, my grandma, Veronica Ladablog, decided she was gonna explore Snack Tooth Island and discover its history. But we never heard from her again. That's really why I'm out here, to find out what became of her. Anywho, that's all for now. Let's head back to town. <laughs> <laughs>